Look at this. You do not get many days in Saskatchewan when the wind is this calm. And this year I'm doing something a little different. In the past you guys really liked my catch and cook videos more than anything, so I'm gonna try and do that. And today we're actually gonna catch and cook some pike. Mr. Jack, Jack Daniels himself. I ha I don't remember what they taste like, it's been so long. They're, I didn't, never really hated them, but they're not my favorite. Pike are very commonly fished. People really like to catch them. Me, not so much. So we're gonna try and get them. We're gonna see what they taste like, and I'm cooking them. I'm gonna, we're gonna cook them very basic, just some nice common batter to put on batter to put on them and throw some lard in the pan so I want to keep the actual natural flavor as close as I can before I add anything else this time just because it's been so long I call them copper barrel lures lots of people make these I'm not the inventor but we perfected it with the bucktail focus on that I hope that's it it's an awesome hook it does work it's heavy it's got a big ass so it drags you gotta reel it fast but it does catch things now the thing about this like I was saying it's so heavy like you don't even have to try. This thing will cast a mile. Not quite a mile. Like <laughs> it's freaking gone. <laughs> okay, baby, let's go. Dinner, baby. Ding, ding, ding. It's not a super big one. Make a believer on all you guys with this bullet lure. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at that. Right in the end. <laughs> Perfect, guys. This hook's killer. Any inline spinner will look great. And my audio is probably pretty bad. I got the external mic off because it's been raining quite a bit. So that's why the audio kind of pooed to bed. All right, this is the most exciting part. We deserve a coffee. We caught a fish. I'm going to show you guys the best way to make coffee. It's a French press. And what it is, when you make it, it takes the bitterness out, it makes it way more smooth. It's the best way to do it. And when you get really hardcore too, you gotta get your special, special cup. Do you like it? <laughs> you don't want aluminum either, like your aluminum uh, go mugs or anything, because you, you taste the aluminum, it's, it's not as pure. You gotta have the right cups, absolutely everything. Ah, we're just gonna show you, this is just the coolest way to do it. We're just gonna set up the good old unit here. Oh, there's poo there! I put my leg in poo poo. So this is the coffee. This is uh, like another uh, coffee maker I have. We're not using this, by the way. You just put coffee in the tape on the top, and it boils up and it, go it filters down. But if you make it on these, these campfire ones, you gotta be careful. You can make it so strong you can stick a spoon in it, and it'll stay up. This is the perfect rucksack too for carrying stuff because there's lots of room, and it's durable. It's gonna last. You can throw it around. And this is like the best little stove I've used. It's super easy and you see the little pack it comes in. This little baby here. Fill this up. But we're not quite level. I don't, <clears throat> I'm gonna, it should be okay I think. Oh, I brought my ferro rod. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys it too. Well, I, I, there's one of many, but we're really gonna bushcraft it today. <laughs> and I have a bunch of styles. This is the one I picked. This is probably my favorite. It's pretty dope. I like it in DC. Mr. Dan, this is your knife. I won it, you guys check out DC Outdoors too. I won this on a, this is the first time I ever won on a giveaway, so that's pretty cool. It's not the best striker at the back. You want high speed steel, it gives it a really hard 90. But this still works, but you don't get quite as big of a spark off of it. There we go. Cooking, we're gonna be freaking drinking coffee in no time. I love this knife, it's freaking cool. What am I doing? Let's get the shoe on the road. Gonna make some coffee. So we're gonna boil up some coffee and it doesn't take, oh, I'll show you. We need about one cup per uh, making here, is what we do. That's probably it right there. We can't run this out, it's kinda mediocre, empty, half, maybe three quarters. <laughs> so we won't have enough propane to cook our fish. So I'm gonna balance this out when we get the fish going there because I don't want it to fall over and get oil and grease on everything. Pot of knives, guys. This is the knife. And yes, another thing about being a member, I have two more knives. Um, that you guys didn't claim so I got two more giveaways and since you guys are supporting me more be, uh, becoming a member I'm probably just gonna give the uh, Knives away on a membership draw as well. It's I think it's just the best way of 
returning the favor too since you guys are supporting me more becoming a member so I can give back a little bit more through the membership and maybe you can win a knife so I'm gonna get a little stick you guys watch this I'm gonna kind of level it out I got a freaking thorn bush too ouch ow ow we're not using that screw it I tried so as that's boiling I'm gonna show you guys how to do this you need your cup make sure make sure you stay glass or just anything non-aluminum all right and this is the piece right here French press and I already put it together but I'll show you these are little filters in here you throw them in you screw it in the bottom like this and it tightens up all right and then all you do is put this on top of the coffee just like that this is the best you have to try this trust me if you're a hardcore co even if you're not even a hardcore coffee person just try it it's so good and then we dump the water in here and press it just like that. And the French press, you can, I'll even leave a link for you if you're interested. 20 bucks for it, give or take. I don't remember, it's been a while since I bought one. Now, we just pour it in. I should really have gloves. This might be a little toasty on the fingers. That's not bad. That's actually kind of bad. Ah! Good. And your mouth's gonna have the best orgasm it's ever had. I promise you. Oh, I made a mess. So you hold it at the bottom. You press this baby right through. And there's a lot of pressure too, so you'll be pressing hard. So you don't want to make a wreck or have a wreck. And this is it. <laughs> Darth Vader, right? It's so smooth. It's just great. All right. And these work good for cutting boards too. Pardon you guys. Still have not sharpened this knife since I got it. Now I'm doing the five fillet uh, steps boneless. Now I go on the, uh, the far side of the pin bones and go on the outside, go straight down. Same with that side. And then the back side will be boneless. We do each side. I still remember how to clean them, but I just don't do them very much. And you can see all these bones and that's why people don't like cleaning these guys. You can still do them, I mean, but, and you can see their little bones and everything, where they go. And there's the second one. Like, don't be intimidated on Jack either. Everybody are because of the bones, but look at me. I haven't done these in years, and I can still apparently do it. Well, we haven't eaten it yet, but I don't think there's any bones. They're pretty good there, too. There's the other one. No bones that I can feel. <laughs> We're actually doing pretty good. And the best part, do not pull this all the way through. Flip it over. And there we go. I gotta get the skin off it still. Oh, that's good. It's so good. So we got them all ready here, whoops. We got a little grass on it. That never hurt anything. So let's bring a bag and we're using the same stuff we use for perch. Fish Crisp by Rocky Madison. That stuff right there. It's really good, it's so good. Everything's good about this, just being outdoors and cooking food out here. <laughs> so we're gonna throw them all in. Just like that. And I even remember to bring a fork. This is the first time I've ever remembered. Better, 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 better. Best way to do it, a big Ziploc bag is all I do. Works great. And just go like this. And I used two little uh, spools of fishing line and it actually leveled it up pretty good. Cause you don't want the butter all going to one side if you can help it. We got scales in there now. Three tries, that's bad. Thanks again, DC. <laughs> Throw the baby on. And I like lots of lard. Use lard, do not use butter. It's thicker, it'll last longer in the pan. Nancy, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> Cannot get enough of this. I'm excited, I'm actually really excited because I have zero idea what these taste like now. And this year too, I'm gonna concentrate on a lot more crank baits and jerk baits. I don't really use them very much, but watching all these videos and everybody using them, I wanna get into them too. Wow, we got a lot of butter in there. I'm gonna start a grease fire. Ooh, baby, it's the best part. Our pans aren't even gonna be big enough, I don't think. We'll make it work, but it'll it'll be good. Oh, let's go. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. That's hot. Who would've thought grease would've been hot? Ooh, coffee and fish. And it's raining. We'd be hauling some grain today and fertilizer and all that, but it's raining, so. Oh, mercy, that's good. I should have actually brought tongs, I think. Would have been easier to flip them, but. 
Oh, I'm gonna lose my tan here. Forgot the color of these things. We're not level, the grease is all going to the one side. <laughs> That's right. You guys don't overcook a fish. You can undercook it all you want, but do not overcook them. Oh, why is it so high? As I say that, I'm so bad. I'm a bad instructor. Next time I gotta bring my little lawn chair, or my actual ice fishing one. It's tiny and kinda easy to haul around. Pretty much done. Is that hot? That's kinda hot. That's kinda hot. Maybe some gloves too. Get that grease going around there better. I wanna get one of those, ah! That's hot. I wanna get one of those deep fryers too for cooking fish. I've never really done that very much, but I watch too many videos and watch too many things. Smells good. That smells so good. And there's something about cooking outdoors. It's just nothing beats it. Especially when it's calm like this. It's usually not this. Like, usually it's windy as heck. It's, it usually can go out early in the morning or late in the evenings. Midday, it's so hard to do fishing some days. It's very aggravating. So that's gotta be it. We're done. <laughs> All right. Ah! The moment we've been waiting for. I got lots of lard on this. Yeah, get off. This is the best part. And so I'm excited. I really do. I think it's more of a bland taste because I don't eat this very much. Here we go. Oh, it's a little hot. It's a little hot. It's just a tad bit hot here. You know, it's not that bad. Oh, it's hot. I haven't had it in so long. I really didn't remember what it tastes like. Man, is it good. God darn it. And that batter. Oh, man, that's good. Why don't I catch some more pike, man? So remember, it's all I use is that fish, fish crisp in lard. That's, you don't have to be fancy for fish. I never really believed in that. Mm. And you guys cannot forget to subscribe for my dog. We do this for Jess and nobody else. Help us out. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And it shows you guys like watching the videos too and you subscribe and like, which is awesome. YouTube's a hard game. Probably the hardest thing I've ever done. We're close to it. Man, that's good. I think I gotta catch more pike more. Whew. Nice and crispy. I feel really hot. Holy cow. Mm, that's good. Oh, you guys, if you guys have really special ways now of cooking pike, let me know and I'll try them. I don't know the best ways. I just wanted to do it the basic way to start with, just to remember what they taste like. And they are, they're good. They're really good. My gosh. Huh. I'm not really picky though. The only thing I don't like eating is olives. Bitter and nasty. It's about the only thing I do not like eating in this world is olives. I love fish. Mm. Oh, it's an iced coffee now. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do more catch and cooks this year. For sure. Oh, that's good. <laughs> See you later.